Hey everybody, it's Insanity. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be playing none other than 60 seconds. Um, I have only played this a couple times. Um, and I am super excited to play again. So, um, let's just, let's just do it. Hold on. Just wanted to show you that. I thought one of the kids came out too. Okay, let's do it. Okay, uh, let's do Apocalypse. I'm gonna be Ted and Fat Man. Begin adventure. Water, essence of life, basis of survival. An atomic adventure awaits. How do I do this? Um. Uh, how do I grab that? D? There we go, okay. I got that. Dude, why are you so slow? Okay, I got you. Uh, my DPS is so low. Okay, I got that. You, there, you can come. I've decided that you are good to come. And I've destroyed the TV. Um, uh, where's the kid? You know what, I don't need the kid. He can not exist. I'm good with that. I'll come back for the radio later. Okay. Grabbing the gun. One gun. Okay, radio, 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 radio. Come on, go, 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 go. I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, okay. Here's the fat man. Okay, it looks like there are four servings to each bottle of water. Oh, my heart was racing. My heart was actually going insane. Okay, let's check the journal. We got to the shelter just in time. Good thing Mary Jane didn't bring her tuba. The fan noise here is bad enough. Wait a second, where's Timmy? Yeah, we had to leave him behind, I guess. Our shelter used to be fully stocked, but somehow we always found a better way to use the stocked supplies instead of leaving them for an emergency. Once we had a soup dinner party, another time we needed the rifle to help our neighborhood watch in a vicious fight against raccoons. Luckily, some of the supplies were left untouched. A flashlight. Looks like we're gonna need that soon. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll, we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. Okay. Time to ration supplies. What do you mean there's just barely enough water? There's four waters. So it uh, looks like everybody's good for today. Let's see, we thought it'd be a great idea to have some role-playing fun and create our own shelter theater group. We called it Thunderdome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into a fight over it and decided that maybe it would be best to play something simpler. Not in the drawing of a car. Okay. Day two. He's already going a beard. We played Truth or Dare. When it turned out, we only kept asking questions, and the most common was, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that's enough games for now. Ted is fine. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't eat anything. Dolores is doing quite well. Or she just can't find anything to complain about today. <laughs> and like it said, they're all fine. An adventure. Yeah, let's prepare. So I've heard that if... Mary Jane gets exposed to enough radiation, she can mutate, and then she won't need, like, anything, and she'll be super buff. So, I kind of want to do that. So, uh, let's send her out tomorrow. What to do? We've been smelling something funny in the shelter ever since we woke up. Sure enough, there was something. Someone, something or someone started a fire, and it's already spreading. We can't save everything. What do we save? I mean, we don't have any... Oh, no, we don't have a first aid kit! Oh, God. 
Okay, let's uh, take the portable radio. All right. That was close. We were able to put out the fire and nothing seems to be damaged. At least, not very badly. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again or we might need to call the firemen. Are there even any firemen left? Ted needs water to survive. Getting something to drink from Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Water is all Dolores wants. But I've learned a lot. They have to be dehydrated or starving for you to give them some, for you to give them rations. Otherwise, we're going to run out immediately. Okay, we've been preparing for this expedition since yesterday and feel ready to go right now. Who should be the lucky one to venture into the unknown? Can we like choose multiple people? Also, how do I get more hands? That's confusing. Uh, let's give her a water bottle. She can drink that. Uh, and that's the day. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Equipment, a water bottle. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. So, uh, yeah, they're both suffering from dehydration, so we can give them both a water. This is terrible. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here, but now it's worse than ever. If we don't deal with this problem, we won't be able to cope with any other challenges that await us outside, outside these thin shelter doors. Looks like we don't have a med kit, so, uh, yeah. That could be a problem later on. Somebody's sleeping, I think. I, I, I heard a sleeping. Yep, they are doing terrible. His beard looks like it hasn't grown a single centimeter since it started growing on day one. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were, and there are other problems we will need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. <sighs> Reading about yawns made me yawn. Ted is really tired. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Dolores is really tired. Uh, yeah, they're both just tired, so that's good. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect there is something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow, but how? We need to investigate or we might suffocate. Well, we don't have any of this stuff. Uh, should have taken the bug sprayer, the scout handbook. Why did I not bring any of those? No time. No time. Okay, let's get the flashlight. Okay. Alright, what was blocking the air vent? Are we doing better now? Oh, it looks like it was like a raccoon or something because his arm is not doing good. The obvious thing to do when a vent is blocked is to check what's blocking it. However, when you shine your flashlight on a hive of mutated insects, <sighs> I'm still yawning. <laughs> Things usually go from bad to worse. The angry hive is gone, but the insects did some biting before they fled. So it was insects, not a raccoon like I thought. Ted is still mighty tired and needs some more time to recover his strength. Ted was hurt. Dolores is still tired and can't seem to sleep it off. Dolores would really love to eat something. Um, uh, She's good. She don't need nothing. There is nothing more annoying than silence, and that's all we're getting from our radio. No music, no talking, nothing. Is there anything we can do with the radio to make sure to make it work again? We know we sure know staring at it won't help. Uh, last time I did this, it didn't work, but let's do it anyway. So it looks like it didn't break. Uh oh, he's going insane. Well, we did what we could, but we still can't ha hear a thing. Dang it. Ted is still suffering from his injuries. Ted still hasn't recovered his energy. Ted needs water to survive. Ted's stomach is rumbling and Ted has gone crazy. That is a very good thing for us. That's like the best thing that could happen to us right now. Dolores is not eating for a while. Dolores is still tired and can't seem to sleep it off. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Okay. Uh, he's not starving or anything. Today we met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like hallo- Nope, we're not giving them any water. I don't think Mary Jane's coming back. Is that gonna be a problem? Yeah, she's still good. We don't think they were real doctors, but just in case they were, we got rid of them quickly before they could start charging us for a home visit. <laughs> 
That is so true, though. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted's mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. Ted's wounds are not a pretty sight. Ted is still tired. A few days of rest is what he needs. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now, too. Right now, Dolores complains about. Ugh. Dolores complains she still can't get a good night's sleep around here. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Dolores has barely any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. So it looks like he's dehydrationed. Is she dehydrationed? Yep. And he just needs water. Okay. Uh, nothing to see here. Ah, ah, I think, I think she's back. Please. Dang it, she's not a mutant. But she is very, very pink, and that might be a problem. Uh, government emergency announcement service. Uh, okay. Looks like they found a big parking lot. Uh, some bottled water. Okay, two bottles of water. Um, and a leather suitcase. That's perfect. He's starvating. And just so you know, I'm not dumb. I know about, you know. Looks like nobody can go, so we're gonna die. Uh, is that Morse code I hear? Are we safe? Uh, this is all like stuff that we can hear about right here. He's not. Okay. He's in agony. I wish we had brought the med kit. That would have been much better. And she's starving. Can't go outside. Um, let's check what's down there. Okay. We got that. Doesn't sound like Mary Jane's doing very, very well. Oh, no. <laughs> I like how him and his sock puppet are making the same. <gasps> we found a med kit. We found a med kit. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that is great. She's dehydrated. She's dehydrated and hungry. Uh, he's dehydrated. And I meant starving. <sighs> Ooh, I'm gonna have to give him the first aid kit because if he dies, then basically we die. Okay, let's uh, send Dolores next time. Um, yes, the well being of your family is the most important thing, and we can go steal from them now because it's the apocalypse. Ah, achievement unlocked the dark side. Oh, and now there's a bloody handprint. Okay, let's send Dolores with the... Wait. Hold on. Wait, if we took... Ah, the briefcase! Aha! Haha! <laughs> okay, she can take some ammo. No, I can't get the ammo. No! There we go. Um, and some food. She gets hungry there. Okay, wait for their instructions from the military. Aha, that is, that is what you need to do. We need the briefcase. That's the best thing. Okay, let's see what we got. She took quite a lot, so if she doesn't come back, we're probably gonna die. Okay, time to ration supplies. Um, they're not too bad. Can't you just like beat him with a flashlight? The rat. Sorry, I'm tired. I forgot to read. Huh? Oh. Oh no. They uh, got the soup and we sent Dolores with the gun. She's starving. Okay. We need the radio station. 
it'll be Mary Jane because she needs to become mutant in order to overcome this disease. Come on, mutate. Uh, we don't need water, do we? No, but we need food really bad. Uh, looks like we're going to have to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know if you want more of this. Because uh, I want to do more. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!